talk about getting ready to export our ebook. We're much farther along now and we're ready to lay down some things like TOC styles. So having done the work to structure a book with titles, headers, and subheaders, it's time to pull that structure into a navigation document. And the way to do that from InDesign is to create a TOC style. Um, so found under layout and then TOC styles right down here at the bottom. Let's go. Uh, I'm going to delete that EPUB one that's already there. Pretend you didn't see it. Okay. I'm going to click new and I'm going to move the pop-up window to the correct screen. And then I'm going to call it EPUB because then that's extremely straightforward and I don't have to worry about what I mean by that. Um, so here's what we're going to do. This is where we organize our content to navigable parts, chapters, and subsections. And the TOC styles works by pulling chapter styles into a list. So in the case of this simple content, the, um, the header is, I think we're going to, we're using CT, so we'll pull that over. And then we do have an H2 in this content, so we'll pull that over. So, so often this is not opened, the extra suite of styles. So make sure that the, the more options is opened. Um, if you were styling this for an inline um, table of contents, so an inline list, you could use some of these things to style it. The main thing to know about here is that we need to say make text anchor in the source paragraph. And you might also consider clicking this remove the forced line break so if you'll remember there's a forced line break here after chapter one and before the title and we don't actually want that forced line break in the navigation we want that all to be on one line and so clicking that will get rid of it um, it's also possible to assign paragraph styles and specific about page numbers and styles here because we're just talking about the ebook i'm not going to worry about these things here one note, um, so make sure to, te to uh, check text anchor and source paragraph and remove force line break. But this is basically what you have to do to get a good navigation. So um, I'll, I'm going to click OK and OK again. And then just as a quick preview, I'm going to show you how to make an inline table of contents. So back up to layout, down to table of contents and say OK. And then you see how my cursor is loaded with some content. So if I'm going to click here and it's going to give me a basic table of contents. So there's chapter one. Chapter two title is obviously not formatted properly and I have page numbers when I don't want them. But this is how the basics of an inline table of contents would come out. So pointing to this TOC style when the ebook is exported results in um, navigation for the Peter Pan book. So let's go have a look at that real quick so I can show you. So what you pull through into there comes over here into this navigation. This navigation is not cleaned up yet. It's got the page stakes on it, but I had uh, something on the title page and then chapter one, chapter two. So that's using that TUC style is a direct connection to this piece here once it's cleaned up. Um, and then I'll show you how to close the loop, so to speak, on TUC styles when we export the EPUB.